Hello there, now we will be adding the actions. But first I want the scene states here to look a little bit meaningful. After spending time giving it meaningful names it's still somehow hard to comprehend. I will hit regenerate first so it will be easy to understand. Let's say on this one over here. And it's counter. The image is great, is actually a small render sample of whatever render setting we have. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's pick the default HDRI over here as lighting, just for the record. HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Imaging. It's a type of image used as background and or a lighting source in a 3D scene. Anyways, let's tweak it a little. Alright that's better. It has better use now but doing this for the entire scene states can take a while. Let's do it the fast way. Remember when I told you that Composer keeps track of everything when it comes to scene states? Let's try to take advantage of that. Just check all the camera boxes, then hit Regenerate All. It will normally take a while to regenerate all the images depending on render settings and other factors. Okay, so now, while the cameras are checked, before turning it off let's use it to easily locate things. So, back to adding actions. Keep in mind that adding action here will only be for object being clicked on. Anything that will be clicked through an icon like the roof and walls. Those actions are made in the template design or not in here. Let's start with one of those fins. Open Properties and click on the fin. In the Action box, you will find many selection. We will discuss them later. Just select the Multi Action. Now select swing so it will swing back and forth between the on and off states. Only the ones that are placed here inside the action list. Loop can be used whenever there is a cycle that repeats. Maybe wheels or clocks. Random will randomly select any scene state under the action list. Run all will run everything at once, of course only what's within the action list. Ok now hit the action list, and add the scene states of this window we just zoomed in on. Start with the open one of your first state when opening the PDF file is closed, and vice versa. Just to avoid a no response click, on first click,
Okay, so you got one fully functioning window there, the only way to test it is after exporting. So let's wait till that time. I will do this again just so we can get the hang of it. Now let's keep it closed. Let's do it to the garage door, this time real quick. Alright, now you go ahead and practice on the rest of the doors and windows, but before that, I will just do a quick run over the list of action we saw back there. Let's open anything, click, properties, and action. Alright, the first element in the drop-down menu is the URL. And clearly it's to add a link to the object that's being clicked. So instead of changing a material, or maybe moving an object, it will open a particular website. It's really a powerful tool. In fact, I will go ahead and add our website. The second element in the drop-down menu is message box. This is like a small sticky note. When clicking on in this case the roof, but only this part though. Because we haven't turned the roof material slots into one slot. And actions are done for one slot of material at a time. Then comes after that, play animation and stop animation, and their names are self-explanatory. Scripts are useful for those who know a little JavaScript, and want to add some custom characteristics to their actions. Finally the scene state, and it is a direct and plain link to the scene state. Now that we are done with that topic, let's go ahead and design the template. I'll see you in the next video.